the value of f dash 0 from the positive side is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 from the positive side f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 divided by h. This is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 from the positive side f of h which is equal to h upon 1 plus e raised to the power 1 upon h minus f of 0 which is 0 divided by h. This simplifies to the limit h tending to 0 from the positive side 1 upon 1 plus e raised to the power 1 upon h. Now this can be written as limit h tending to 0 from the positive side 1 upon e raised to the power 1 upon h times in brackets 1 plus e raised to the power minus 1 upon h which can be expressed as limit h tending to 0 from the positive side e raised to the power minus 1 upon h divided by 1 plus e raised to the power minus 1 upon h. Now as h tends to 0 from the positive side 1 upon h tends to infinity therefore e raised to the power 1 upon h also tends to infinity which implies that e raised to the power minus 1 upon h tends to 0. Therefore, the value of f dash 0 from the positive side is equal to 0 upon 1 plus 0 which is equal to 0. Now the value of f dash 0 from the negative side is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 from the positive side f of 0 minus h minus f of 0 divided by 0 minus h minus 0. This is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 from the positive side f of minus h minus f0 which is 0 divided by minus h. This is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 from the positive side f of minus h which is equal to minus h upon 1 plus e raised to the power minus 1 upon h divided by minus h. This simplifies to the limit as h tends to 0 from the positive side 1 upon 1 plus e raised to the power minus 1 upon h. Now as h tends to 0 from the positive side 1 upon h tends to infinity therefore e raised to the power 1 upon h tends to infinity therefore its reciprocal e raised to the power minus 1 upon h tends to 0. Using this result, the value of f dash 0 from the negative side is equal to 1 upon 1 plus 0 which is equal to 1.